Hello everyone and welcome to A Slice of My Life, Mail Call Time. It is from Spinetics. It's been a while, right, since I got stuff from Spinetics. That's because I've been holding out and waiting, waiting, and waiting for the release of the DNA line. And it's finally out and I hopped on the order and here is some stuff from the DNA series. I'm really happy about it. So at this point of time, I want to say congratulations to the Spinetics team and Joshua. Good job, you guys. Congratulations on the launch of the DNA line, especially for the DNA ring spinner. I know you guys have already seen the giveaway video that I'm doing for the Y+. I will say again that I'm jealous and a little bit sad that I missed out on the first run of the DNA ring spinner but really congratulations on selling out so fast. So let's just crack this box open and let's see what's inside but it's got a little cute smiley face over here. I don't know who this is supposed to be. Is this supposed to be you Joshua? I don't know but it's a little smiley face. No need for a knife in this slice of my life because this is one of the DHL boxes that has this little pull tab on the side so let's go ahead and rip this apart okay that didn't really work out very well now did it oh, okay here we go ah, that's good okay that seemed to have worked so let's just slowly take things out one by one and make sure that the invoice is not here because I don't want you guys to see my address for no reason maintain the tension for you guys more paper okay first box is coming out look at that guys sweet DNA box I wonder what three stickers means. It could be a Y, right? Let's see, what is this? It's a micro Triton spinner, guys. I've never owned a Triton before, just a Byton. But, uh, you know, I've been wanting to get one of these because they look so cute. It's super small. And I've wanted to order one of these, but, you know, I wanted to save on shipping. So I've been waiting for the DNA line drop before I actually added this to my cart. So this is in the order as well. Another DNA box. We've got two stickers this time. More packing paper, right there. And this one has one sticker, so maybe this is the I, this is the Y, and this is the X. We don't really know. Since this video is gonna be about the DNA series, let's just put this boy aside and keep that for another video. Now, let's go ahead and open them in order, so it'll be one, two, three, in order of the number of stickers. So let's check out this one first. Let's take a look at the box. Choking hazard, looks like it's been glued down on this side over here. It looks like it's a flap, kind of an opening system. So let's just see, yep, I was right. Oh, it's magnetic, guys. That's cool. Oh, sweet, I got a new sticker. So first of all, you're greeted with a sticker and it looks to be a little bit metallic. Oh, that's nice. It's slightly metallic. I think it's a really nice touch. Oh gosh, guys, my hair's standing again. Look at that, guys. This is the DNA I machine finish. That's beautiful. Oh, my hair's standing again because <laughs> now I'm feeling it in my hand. It feels so good. Look at those buttons, man. It's, it's the new button style. Oh, you know what? It spun really well, but I'm sorry guys, I forgot to check the bearing retention again. So let's just check out the bearing retention, shall we? Okay, so it looks to have a stainless steel 10 ball R188 bearing in it. And the bearing retention is fine. Buttons are very nice, concaved with a few steps. I think it is two steps and an outer lip here. So that's really nice, well done. This outer lip here is exquisite. Can you guys see it? It's a really, really small outer lip. That's very, very well done. Back on. Oh, smooth guys, so smooth. Beautiful. That is the DNA I. Gonna put this right here. Let's see what else is in the packet. So we got a spare set of buttons and these look like the same buttons, just that they don't have any laser etching on it. So this is gonna be cool for customization. And oh yeah, the foam seems to be glued down like that. Yep, all the way through, solid. So that's pretty cool. These have a dimple in the middle. See that? So you could put a pointed object and then you could balance it. Nice, guys. Very, very nice addition for this. Now this is gonna give me some nice customizing options. I could stone wash these if I don't want the laser etching on it. I could flame it or something. Wow. Hey, okay, let's check this out. Hold on, let's just see if this fits. Put this here one and one and see if this works oh it fits guys oh even this one has the divot in the middle that dimple in the middle so you could have it this combination if you want 
with one side with a laser etching and the other side plain. That's completely up to you. But you know me, I'm kind of OCD that way. So I want both sides with laser etching because it looks super awesome like that. All right, I'm gonna put this aside. So that is the DNA I. So this I'm gonna assume is the DNA Y because you know, I, one, two, Y, three, X, I think so. I think so. Let's just open up. What the hell? <laughs> You guys are cracking me up. This is Kamsia. <laughs> it's not even in Mandarin, guys. Kamsia is thank you. But this is in Teochew or Hokkien. It could also be in Taiyu, which is like the Taiwanese traditional language. Kamsia, it's thank you. And it's so cool. It's so Singaporean though. It's so Singaporean. This is what I believe my invoice is to be. I'll leave the Kamsia in frame. Just like that. Kamsia. <laughs> And with that, I have another note that I think is supposed to be attached along with the mini Triton spinner because this looks to be from VCDC. So it's just a choking hazard warning. I like the fact that they actually even included this. I got two more Spinetic spinner stickers. This is awesome. <laughs> so awesome. I've got a name card and two more DNA line stickers in here. Oh, you know what? I totally forgot to mention in the eye box that... <laughs> Sorry guys, I got too excited. There is a bearing removal tool and a key ring so you can attach it to any key fob that you have or anything. And we have a spare bearing and that looks to be a stainless steel caged R1 and A10 ball bearing as well. The one inside the DNA eye features a nylon cage. So I'm going to have to get a pair of tweezers to kind of get the guy out. There we go. So we got that right there. Now we can really put the box aside. Thank you for your business. No guys, you guys are awesome. Thank you. It looks like a new name card as well. Yeah, different finish, different finish. So don't think I didn't notice guys. Don't think I didn't notice. So here we go. Oh wow, okay, once again, my hair standing one more time. <laughs> what in the world? This is the DNA Y guys, DNA Y. Oh, this is in a Ziploc bag. It's a different plastic bag from what the I was in. So I'm gonna, as always, just undo the buttons really quickly and check out the retention system over here. So guys, as you can see, it's a nylon cage. 10 ball R188 nylon cage bearing. Very nice. And in there is a stainless steel cage one. So extra bearings, different feedback for sure. So just gonna put the buttons back on. Give this guy a quick spin while I remove everything else. So we got the buttons here that are seated in really tightly. We've got another bearing removal tool with another key ring that I'm gonna take out. Mm -hmm. And then I gotta get, look, hand change. Yes, Jack, Jack has it, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's not really a trick though, but <laughs> just that the buttons are wide enough for you to actually do that. Just gonna get this bearing out, put this bearing right here, got the buttons, close up the box and put the box aside. There we go. And I'm gonna shift the Kamsia right here. Kamsia. <laughs> okay, so guys, this is the DNA Y. Very nice, very, very nice. I'll fidget with them later, okay? Let me just unbox the last one, which is the DNA X. So here we go. I don't think there's gonna be another Kamsia in this, but yeah. Cool, guys. One more time, hair standing again. <laughs> what in the world? DNA X, guys. So before I go ahead and spin that, guys, let's just take out the extra accessories as well. This removal tool is not wanting to come out. I'm gonna have to pry it out. There, I got it. There we go. I'm gonna take the DNA X out. Oh, guys. In total awe. So, guys, DNA I, DNA Y, DNA X. Actually, most of the time, people call it the X, Y, and I, right? So, what do I think of them? Let's have a closer look. First of all, we will undo the buttons on the X. And we'll take another look at the bearing retention system. Make sure that it's closed tight. Yep, it is. And yes, once again, guys, in it is a 10 ball R188 stainless steel bearing. I believe it's stainless steel, but it has a nylon cage. And the extra bearing, once again, is a stainless steel R188 bearing as well, which is 10 ball, but has a stainless steel cage gonna put the buttons back on before I give this guy a spin let's take a closer look and let's look at all the different nuances on the spin itself let's just get a classic Y and I got a classic I, I actually have a classic X 
but it's in a very very beautiful membrane frame now and i'm kind of lazy to take it out because you know i really took a lot of time to kind of align it nicely so the x is not going to come out so the outer edges here the raised edges here all feature a brush finish and on the outside as well you can see a brush finish but the brush direction looks a little bit different depending on the angle on the outside here the brush angle is actually going in a horizontal kind of direction but on the side of the arms it actually looks more like a vertical direction instead so i don't know if there's a reason why that was done but but that's that and it's quite cool and for this it looks like the brushing is always going outwards so the brushes are all like outwards you know in the direction of the arms itself and it is apparent on both sides as well very smooth to the touch because it also has a chamfer on the side very very nicely chamfered even the sides over here is rounded and same thing goes for the chamfering is rounded as well so that's really a huge improvement now i'll just take the y and compare it to the classic y as you guys can see the classic y yes this one has been stone washed already so it's a little bit more i guess rounded than a standard y you guys can see that there's some rounding on the edges as well okay so to be fair the original y would be sharp like this okay this is the original classic i that has not been treated in any way this is in its raw form that i got it stock you can see from the machine on the classic series that the edges are all pretty sharp very very nice angular cuts but they result in a very sharp edge as well taking feedback from all the customers so far even myself you know, Spinetics went ahead and thought about doing a rounded edge and I believe that this DNA series was actually designed by my buddy Jong Un. I'm sorry if there's some kind of a banging sound in the background. I think some construction work just started so that's going to be a little bit irritating. Now that you guys have seen the close-up of these, these nuances are really good. Like, it's all brushed all over. Very well done. You know, the buttons are awesome. You guys already know. I mentioned it just now. It has two steps going down to the middle and it is concave as well and then it even has an outer lip here and on the sides here it is chamfered i'm gonna get my stubby in and my stubby actually has a v1.5 origin button and it looks almost like the same side profile no actually the diagonal cut here is more pronounced versus the one on the origin let's just see if i can do a side by side there you guys can see on the origin it's a little bit more shallow so you sacrifice the side edge origin side edge is taller than this side edge over here let's just hold this one instead all right so when you actually handle the playing button oh man that produces such a nice grip as well this concave is so comfortable and for those of you who want even more grip you're gonna love the one with the laser etching it's just beautiful such a comfortable concave and it's got all these ridges on the side for grip so you don't have to worry whether you're using either version but if you want even more grip then use the, the one the laser etching it's just really nice so the next nuance that i want to point out is the inside part where your finger actually rests against or you know where you kind of prepare to throw out a good flick on the original classic line you can see it's just a straight angle straight cut slightly chamfered on the i and also slightly chamfered on the y and of course the x as well but you can see it's a straight angle all the way out to this edge and it just angles inwards or just tapers off i should say but for the dna line it is curved and it's got a slight curve on the inside as well so it's curving inwards coming outwards and then to a straight line that kind of resembles this that's a very nice design touch you still maintain this particular look and feel of the original classic x y and i but you put a new spin on the comfort of it and some extra details on the inside instead of it coming out it's actually going recessed in and on the innermost recess area you'll actually see machining marks that actually look pretty cool it's quite radical because it's like it's circular and triangular at the same time if you guys can pick up what i'm trying to say so the brushing actually stops on the inner edge but that's you know that's something that cannot be helped but apart from that i believe that these are just comfort all over very very nice window cut slots at the closest edge as well hmm, i wonder if in the future, there will be one with a hollowed out inner edge completely. I think that will be quite cool, huh? like the DNA light series. But these are comfortable, man. Like, wow. Super fishable, super comfortable. Okay, the first impressions on these are really, really good. There are virtually no hotspots on these at all. The X, Y, and I. Nothing. Nothing. Now, the next thing I will say that has been said before, I think in a couple of other reviews and even by Joshua himself, is that the biggest difference between the DNA line X, Y, and I versus the classic line is that 
in the classic line for the x y and i the more number of arms you have the narrower or smaller the arms on each i won't say smaller just narrower but on the dna series it's all the same size as you guys can see all of it's the same size so literally the more arms equals to more weight a heavier spinner all right so if you guys really want heft go for the dna x if you want something in between go for the dna y and if you want the lightest one out of the lot go for the dna i of course guys the price ranges anything between i think it was like 42.99 all the way till about i think 59.99 correct me if i'm wrong and that's because these are actually available in a plethora of different materials with the base materials being brass copper stainless steel and also you have titanium and the last that i checked i think that the x in titanium was sold out and that's kind of sad but that's also you know something that is to be expected because Spinetics has started actually offering anodizing for titanium so that's really really just pushing the boundaries of the game you guys always bringing innovation to it you know and making things affordable for everyone so really good job so far i think the most comfortable is the y in my opinion because you know just finger just rests there in that curve right there super comfortable man this feels good and it's like like a silent spin it's really silent i'm digging the bar as well this feels good i'm glad i got stainless steel because i didn't want something that was too light and you guys know i have a love for bars right so i'm biased towards the bar style spinners this is no exception beautiful bar spinner this one though this is hefty but the only thing that i cannot do is get my finger all the way in because it's kind of narrow over here but it's not uncomfortable it is still very rounded i mean clearly you guys can see oh man fidgeting with this so good so good oh goodness gracious me i'm so glad that i got one of each even with two spinning at the same time See how silent they are, man. Crazy. Wow, good job. Good job, Spinetics team. <sighs> okay, guys, you know the drill. Links in the video description below. I'm done with the first impressions. Oh, wait, I'm not done. I have to do a size comparison for all everyone. So, here we go. Stubby. DNA, X, Y, and I. Of course, the I being the tallest. But on the side profile, I think that the X and the stubby is roughly the same. I mean, on the angle profile. Now, in terms of comparing the DNA I with the classic I and the DNA Y with the classic Y, they're actually about the same size. Just about. Look at that. Look at that. It's about the same size. Not too shabby, but so much more improvement. Now, don't get me wrong. The classic line... It's just awesome as well. They're really, really good spinners. And the fact that they are under, I, if I'm not wrong, it was under $40. These are awesome. You know what I mean? They were awesome when they were released, but now they're still relevant in the game. And then with the release of these, guys, you guys are pushing the boundary. You know what I mean? Like they're so comfortable, so fidgetable. What can I say? Bigger buttons, rounded edges and everything. But you know, the spin character is just different. Look, guys. spin character is different like even the way it spins you know what i'm trying to say like the way it cuts the air and everything i know i understand that a lot of it is attributed to the bearing that's being used but this is something that i cannot explain not till you actually try both you know what i mean so everyone who's a spinetics fan and you guys have the classic series you won't regret getting one of the dna line for sure uh, in my opinion like right now i'm just saying this you know based on my first impressions uh, i really don't know what to say i'm just really really happy with these right now and uh, i'm gonna have to put them on my edc you know for maybe a couple of weeks because you know there's three of them and i'm gonna have to make sure that i give them each the same amount of love and time spent you know what i mean before i actually come back to you guys and let y'all know what i think about each of them let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a separate video for each or if you'd rather me just combine all three together in one video because uh, i'm afraid that that one single video is going to be really really long because this video itself is going to be like what 20 minutes or something Wait, why is it stopping? Oh, that's because it's rubbing into the box. My bad. There we go. My first impression so far, I like them all very, very much. I think they're a great improvement from the classic line, even though the classic series is a pretty good 
series of spinners as well very affordable and just awesome looking you know in my opinion but these you know sometimes i've mentioned to you guys before that the classic line some of the arms actually look like fingers right these don't not at all these are actually really pleasing to the eye so currently you know based on the first impressions my favorite is the y because of the the way it feels here you know and here and all that but i'm also partial kind of to the bar because the bar just looks really cool to me like it just looks so awesome you know what i mean that's about it thanks for watching everyone and thank you for sharing in this slice of my life with me it was a very very nice unboxing i haven't done such a huge unboxing in a while so this is really just overwhelming for that price point and all the extra accessories that you get it's just really completely super value for money these are all under 50 dollars, guys if i'm not wrong the stainless steel versions are 49.99 but you don't just get a spinner you get two bearings and they're different bearings by the way you get two button sets and they're just awesome buttons one with laser etching and one without you get the spinner itself you get a bearing removal tool you get a key ring you get a beautiful magnetic closing box and stuff you get the DNA stickers. What more can you ask? You know what I mean? So with that said, guys, I hope that this first impressions has provided enough information for you to decide whether or not the DNA, I, X, and Y are spinners for you. I'm liking them so far. I've been wanting to get them since I saw the initial render images. And they're finally here and they've surpassed my expectations. You know, images versus the actual thing. The actual thing looks way better. Yep. And I'll catch you guys in the next slice of my life, everyone. Bye.